lot of software that helps you clean out your PC so it'll be a lot faster and efficient. Like there's tune up utilities, there's C cleaner. But to tell you the truth, you don't need software. It's all in your computer, your computer does it for you. But what the software does is it does it a lot easier and more reliable. So I'm going to show you how to do it the PC way, the way that Microsoft intended you to do it. So what you'd want to do is if you have Windows XP, type in run. But if you just have Vista or 7, just on the search part, type in percent sign temp percent sign. So hit OK. And this is all the temporary files that you do not need. So yeah, what you'd want to do is click on one of them, Control A, deflect all, and delete. So look, instantly six, seven, nine, oh, a gigabyte of crap that I have. Over two gigabytes. And if it does this, just skip it. So yeah, and what we do is right click into recycle bin. Yes. Now it's gonna take a little while. <clears throat> now see, that's a lot of stuff. That's some of the stuff that that even C Cleaner or any other. PC cleanup software can ever do. So just click continue and it's all deleted. So something else needs to do and it's called disk cleanup. So just do that. Disk cleanup. Select the driver that you want to clean up. Hit OK. Now it's scanning now. So it takes a little while. So now this pops out. It's called a disk cleanup for Windows 7 or whatever you named your driver. Okay, so what you'd want to do is select all this. So select that, select that, select that. Scroll down, select that. Scroll down more, select that one. Select all of them. Say cleanup system files. Oh, I just messed up. Okay, so I have to do this over again. Click them all. Then what you do is hit OK. It says, are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Hit delete files. So we'll just clean it up. Clean up the recycle bin, set up log, temporary files, temporary windows installation files, thumbnails and all the error report files so that's not all there's one more thing you need to do is you want to go to your start orb or whatever and look for disk defragmenter analyze disk so yeah this will take a little while won't take a long time but yeah and it's almost done analyzing so 1% is defragmented so that's pretty good if it's 0% defragmented like my Windows Vista that's good so 1% is defragmented so defragment the hard disk so now it's going to take a little bit more so it's done it's one pass so 3% 4% it's going to continue it's going to relocate after it went to 100%, it has to relocate, see if there's any more to defragment. So this, it'll take a little while, but it'll be worth the while. There's a couple th more things you want to do, but it's not much, so bear with me. Now, see, it's almost done. But it's been taking a little while, it's been 3 to 4 minutes, but I just had to pause the video. Um, this might be the same for you, but for you it might take a little bit more, like, it might take a couple hours. If this is the first time you're ever doing this, yeah, it's going to take you a couple hours. 
because it's still there's a lot of fragment and what it means is what fragment is it's just crap that's not in place so what the defragmenter does it it puts its stuff uh, puts the files back in its place it's kind of putting it like this icon right here putting it back in place so it's almost done it's on 98% now again it might not take this long for you it might take longer it may it might take a whole movie or a whole dinner uh, that long but sometimes it's gonna take a couple hours I remember when I first did it on my computer yeah it took I believe it was 17 hours for me and I had it for three months and I never did it and it took that long so it's on 99 it's almost done it's almost done now it's now it's gonna defragment so zero percent defragmented so yeah it's gonna take a little bit more now see it's going a little faster it's on past seven I didn't even realize it <laughs> I've been playing Nazi zombies for a little while while this happened so past seven I don't know how much gonna go up to but yeah that's that's the other way as that's happening I'm gonna show you another way so here's another way you can speed this up your computer so you go to your internet browser your main one so mine's Firefox is a lot easier for Firefox you go to tools and go to clear recent history and now just go to options and when you go to options, go to, I believe it was advanced. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Okay, it's right here where it says privacy. So, where it says history, Firefox will never remember history. So, that would be really good to clear up your history. Or you could do this, remove individual cookies. Remove all cookies and close and remove your recent history in the last you could clear it from the last hour the last two hours the last four hours all of today or everything so I'm gonna hit everything so clear now so then hit OK I'm just gonna close out of it what did I just do I just Okay, just go back to your internet browser, and it's gonna be a lot faster. See, mine popped out a lot faster just because of that. So as that defragmenting keeps going, yeah, that's gonna be on for a while. So those are basically the most best ways to clean up your whole computer without software. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a happy holidays.